I got to New York at the same time as Saturday Night Live a couple of months earlier. What was that, like 75? It was 1975. They, okay. won, they aired in October. I got up there in August. It was scary, especially for me. I'm, I'm a hick from Missouri coming in and gosh. Did you ever get mugged? No. I, there were times when I would go into Central Park looking for a fight. You're kidding me. No. Just if anybody Just fucked being with drunk me. and wanting yeah. to. Oh, yeah. I was, I was at the bulletproof stage of alcoholism before I turned into the invisible man. What do you mean? Well, first it's fun. Then after a while you get bulletproof. Oh, uh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Says who? Hey, Popeye. Um, then you, I get really quiet and invisible. Nothing can hurt me. So you would go into Central Park just looking to have... I did it a have... couple of times, just looking for a confrontation. Just, I'd get so heated up, but... Um, yeah, I was looking for trouble. And so... thank God I never found it. Thank God a lot of stuff never happened to me. What do you think you were fighting against? I that? think it was as being as ungrateful as I could because I was hanging out at a joint called the Cafe Central on uh, 74 in Amsterdam. And there was a lot of great actors that hung out in there. And I would talk theory with these guys and talk acting and they were working and I was doing commercials. And I, I just really beat myself up over that. But no, the 70s, I was, I was too terrified to really do anything. The first winter I was there, I came home from Christmas after my very first job, and I couldn't get arrested. I was still non-equity, and it was fucking cold. I mean, it was the coldest I'd ever been. I was standing in uh, Schubert Alley with my brother's army coat on, looking with the trade paper in my hand, um, and the wind coming off the Hudson and whipping through that alley. And that's as cold as I remember being. But I was, and I was scared all the time too, because you know, you go. I went to the used to go to the grocery store with one of those little clicker things that you'd add up the cents that you were the things you were buying, so you could stay in your budget. It was that close. Oh yeah, I mostly couldn't afford rent after a while. Really. And uh, you know, little by little, you get a job and you realize that you're on the right path. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you wanna see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm gonna give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.